Welcome back to the At Home with Roby show. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's andrewroby.com. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston. We're your hosts. Thanks for joining us this morning. Find out more about the Andrew Roby Company at andrewroby.com. Trent, lots of great information on the show today. We're now joined by a very special guest, Christian McCall. She's our Director of Marketing and Public Relations at the Roby Family of Companies. Trent, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about something that I know was your brainchild eight years ago, and it's really evolved into one of the largest fundraisers for Make-A-Wish of Central and Western North Carolina. Yeah, we uh, it's our eighth annual Pitching for Wishes is what, what the tournament's called now, and uh, it's, it's been a humongous success. Uh, I thought back in the day when we started this, I wanted to have something that we could hang our hat on as a, as a construction company, as a business. I uh, didn't know it would grow into what it's grown into. But like I said, it's our eighth annual, so this is our eighth year. And uh, this year, I think we're going to push a million dollars raised for uh, for charities. We started off early early in our life. We were raising money for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. We had a, a guy... A young man, very athletic, fell at our company that had cancer. He ended up having a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and uh, it fit very well back in the day for the LLS. And then as we evolved and as I had uh, my first, my second, my third, and my fourth child, um, and, and that's what our company's about, families with children, and we we evolved to supporting Make a Wish. I think it really fits well. Thanks for being on the show today, Christian. Thanks for having me. All right. So you're down at the beach again. So I had to have somebody in the studio <laughs> with me. So she agreed to walk across the street. So so Christian, you're involved from the marketing and PR standpoint. Tell tell the folks a little bit about the tournament, how they can get involved, and what what really happens that day. Yeah. Um, this year. Year's event is scheduled for Saturday, September 19th. We're at Freedom Park, and the event takes place on the Little Earth, Little Dilworth Little League baseball. Dilworth Little League Sorry. baseball field. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a first timer on the radio, so bear with me. Um, yeah. She gets a medal, Trent, before she yeah, leaves. Yeah, yeah. Um, the baseball field's within the park, and it's set up. Two of the fields are dedicated to strictly cornhole. So last year we welcomed 144 teams, um, and it's just two two fields filled with boards and bags and and just the tournament itself um we also have a kids field that's got bounce houses and face painters and um all kinds of kids activities so it's a really really family friendly event so um right now we're on the hunt for teams we've got all of our sponsors secured so right now we're doing our big push for teams um the cost for a two-person team is just sixty dollars and um just like with our sponsorships all of that money goes directly to make a wish central and western nc um so we'll hope you'll come out and join us all of our teams get an event t-shirt and a goodie bag and it's really just a fun day so so last year you had 144 teams correct i teased this a little bit in the in the prior segment and Trent, jump in here, buddy, because I know you, this, you were very proud of this. In 12 and 13, 2012 and 13, you guys made it in the Guinness Book of World Records, right? For That's the correct. most people to ever play cornhole. Yeah, so we really need people tournament. to come back out because, Trent, I know you were a little disheartened last year when you didn't get back in the book. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. We, we set the record twice. The, the, the record for the biggest cornhole tournament is in Charlotte, North Carolina, or was two years. It might have been beaten now. It takes a lot of documentation to do that. We're proud to have a hologram on our wall in the office, but uh, I think now we're just trying to gain support for Make a Wish and and, and our brand as as the Roby family of companies and the the companies that we do work with. And we really just want people to come out and have a good time and talk about it throughout the year in Charlotte. That that the event was a was a slam dunk. So. And you are exactly right. And another benchmark, hallmark, really, that you're going to hit this year, Christian, is uh, when you make your budget, you're going to hit a pretty big number overall for long term for the tournament, right? That's right. Um, if we reach our goal, our goal this year is to raise over $200,000. And if we hit that number, then we will hit the million-dollar mark in just eight short years of having this event. So um, we're pretty excited about that. That's a that's a huge number. And um, I think Trent said never in our wildest dreams did we think just eight years in we'd be hitting a million dollars. So that's, that's, that's huge. Well, that, that's well, I, I remember I remember telling telling my partners, my dad and my brother and those guys uh, when I when the dream came about to have a cornhole tournament and to raise money for charity and do something extra special to hang our hat on. My pie in the sky ten year number was a hundred thousand dollars. So so 
a, an exponential return on, on that goal, uh, in my opinion, is a success. And uh, I don't know. I'm proud of it. I'm proud that we're doing it through Cornhole. I'm proud that we're a construction company. And – and we found the diamond to polish in our in our wonderful clients and our wonderful vendors that sponsor us and uh, send money straight to make a wish on our behalf. It, it, it's very special. It is amazing. And, and folks, if you're listening, we're talking about the signature event for the uh, Roby family of companies. It's called Pitchin' for Wishes. You can go to pitchinforwishes.com. No G on that, just P I T C H I N for wishes.com. Uh, Christian is with us. Christian McCall is our director of marketing and PR. You mentioned the kids' playhouse. So you have the cornhole. You got people out there. A lot of people take this very seriously. So it, it yeah. wheedles down. It's a bracket. It gets down to the final. People can can have a lot of fun, win some money, give back to charity. It's, it's co-hosted by Harris Teeter. That's, that's correct. correct. Uh-huh. And our media sponsor this year is uh, eleven ten WBTAM, where we're talking right now, along with one hundred seven point nine The Link. But in addition to the kids playing, there's some 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 special guests coming out for the kids, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> each year we have appearances by local mascots, and this year we've got Sir Purr from the Carolina Panthers, um, Homer from the Charlotte Knights, and Blue from the Charlotte Hounds. So they'll be All right. yeah they'll be out there um, staggered throughout the afternoon to greet the, greet the kids and take photos and um, and. Just have a lot of fun. Hang out, have yeah, fun. Throw some cornhole, maybe. I want to see so Sir Chris and I have talked about it. The, the tournament has evolved in the <clears> years. It's matured uh, as a charity, as a charitable event. And I think two things that really make it make it look like it's progressed over the eight years is we have something for the kids. It's not just the cornhole tournament. You got the grown-ups playing cornhole, maybe having a, a, a cold beer over on the two fields, and then you have the kids, and it's really a family fun event. And, and I take a lot of pride in the kids' area. Secondly, we have a bunch of great auction items this year, which I think that's really picked up steam in the last couple of years. Uh, we have some Sub-Zero appliances we're giving away in the auction. We have a Yeti cooler we're giving away in the auction. And it's just really cool. I always want a raffle to be something where if I give 5 or 10 or $20 to it, I can really win some cool stuff to take home and use. And I think we've finally gotten there with with some quality stuff that I wouldn't buy on an everyday basis because it's nice. You're absolutely right, Trent, and, and all of that is, um, you know, it's made available and possible by a lot of our sponsors, right, mm-hmm. right, Christian? We've got some platinum sponsors, Pinnacle Roofing, Queen City Lumber. I know they've been involved since, I think, 2008. They make all the boards, the cornhole boards, right? Yeah. And then uh, Skookum Digital Works is also on board as a platinum sponsor. So thanks to those folks, as well as all the other sponsors and our co-host, uh, Harris Teeter. So, uh, so one more time, the final details, then we'll wrap up and uh, get out for the day. Yeah, um, <clears throat> again, we're on the hunt for teams. Cost for a two-person team is just $60, and you can visit our website, um, pitchinforwishes.com, and on the homepage you'll see a play in the event button, so just um, hit that button, and it'll take you directly to the registration page. Um, the first place team will win $1,000, and of course, bragging rights, um, and then the second place team will walk away with $500, so um, it's a lot of fun, and like Ash said, we have a lot of ringers that do come out, but um, we start the tournament with just kind of a round robin style, so that everybody's insured at least four games. So you're you're out there uh, for a, a good amount of time, Absolutely. actually playing yeah. in the event, um, and then it turns into single elimination when some of our ringers kind of take over and so, take control. So pitchinforwishes dot com, <laughs> check it out. Get a team. It's sixty dollars. You play some. You hang out in the park. You play some cornhole. Have a couple of cold beers, as Trent said, and it's a good Saturday. So Christian, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, Great thank job. you for having me. All right, Trent, another show, thank buddy. You, you're down at the beach. I guess you're going to head back out, hop in the water or something, check out sharks. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to keep my kids from going below the knees. <laughs> below the knees. All right, buddy. Well, have a, have a safe time, and uh, we'll see you back in Charlotte when you when you get back here. So, thank you. All right, folks. Thanks for for Trent, for get me on the radio. Yeah, thanks, Absolutely. Trent. Absolutely, thanks, Christian. For Trent Haston and Christian McCall and the entire Roby family of companies, I'm Ashley Davis. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next Sunday at 9 a.m. We hope you will be as well for the At Home with Roby show. Visit andrewroby.com today. That's andrewroby.com. And remember, you're always at home with Roby.